You ever notice stupid people have a smell? <laughs> no. You know, I, don't, I don't go to people and smell them and go, wow, you smell dumb. No, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, stupid people usually smell bad. Uh, well, if they're stupid, they probably don't know enough about personal hygiene. But I also kind of want to believe that stupid emits a smell. <laughs> I don't know. I don't smell anything right now when I'm with well, you. I'm, I'm just saying, like, the next time you're waiting in line at a gas station or something, and the guy in front of you is like, Yeah, I just spent $75 on scratch-off lottery tickets, and I won $13. That's a net gain. Give him a sniff. He'll smell terrible. He'll probably smell like chewing tobacco and alcohol. Oh, God, probably. I had a squad leader in the military who smelled like bad Taco Bell meat. It was like Taco Bell meat that has gone bad. And he always would end up running at the front of formation anytime <laughs> we would run. And people, the person who was right behind him would always end up being like, Oh no, leg cramps. I'm going to fall out to the back of the formation. <laughs> so it would just be everyone that was behind him would just end up rotating until... <laughs> Just keep rotating. Person in the front, all the way back. Person in the front, all the way to the back. I don't know if you were trained for this, but in Puli training, we had Indian runs. Now I know what they were preparing us for. Yeah, it was pretty it's, much that. It's exactly that. I think he got yelled at by our chain of command because <laughs> there were so many people that went to our leadership and were like, Yeah, uh, Sergeant X smells like rancid taco meat. Can you make him take a shower? Well, apparently he was homeless for a very long period of time. Uh, surprisingly, a lot of military men are. Yeah. But none of the branches teaches you how to manage your money or have a good no, social oh, life. No, oh, God, no. Oh, God, why would they teach you any of that stuff? Just get drunk. Who cares? <laughs> yep. The most scared I've ever been. Probably when I crapped myself sitting on a toilet. To be fair, the toilet is the best place to crap yourself. But I crapped myself because we started getting mortared. Oh! <laughs> did, did the fear cause you to void your bowels? I was sitting in a porta potty. It was very, very hot. I just have to do this as fast as possible so I don't have to spend any time in this sweltering porta potty. Porta potties in the desert are actually very, very hot. They are incredibly hot because they're, and they're very stinky because there's no ventilation. And usually when they come to clean out the porta potties, they just blast the inside of the porta potty with a power washer so it's always humid in there. And there's never any hand soap. So I'm sitting in the porta potty. I'm trying to make my business as quick as possible. And then I hear the incoming siren. The moment I think I'm going to want to be quicker, a mortar impacted, I would say, within a couple hundred yards. The pressure wave of the mortar hitting caused the entire porta potty to flex. Oh! <laughs> there was no shrapnel that was near me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't technically in any danger, but the, the walls of the porta potty went woof and flexed after the mortar went off. <laughs> I no longer had to use the bathroom at that point. And that wasn't because I had tensed up. That was because my bowels had evacuated into the porta potty instantly. I have quite literally had the shit scared out of me. The moment the porta potty flexed, I went, no time to wipe, I gotta go! And just ripped my pants up as fast as I could, kicked the door to the porta potty open, and ran towards the nearest cover I could find, holding my pants up because I did not have time to do all the buttons on my fly or redo my belt. You're gonna get a rash if you don't wipe. The nearest cover I could find was a was an MRAP, a uh, mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle. The doors for these things weigh about five to 600 pounds. They're really heavy. I ripped that thing open like it was nobody's business. <laughs> Hopped straight up into the vehicle, sat down, and slammed the door behind me. And I look over, and there's a sergeant who is sitting in the vehicle as well. <laughs> and he's just smoking a cigar. First time goes, getting mortared, huh? Had to shit, huh? <laughs> and I said, yup. And he goes... Don't have to shit anymore? And I went, nope. And he goes, you forgot your hat. And I went, shit. <laughs> I'm not going back for it. And he goes, I don't blame you. And then neither of us said another word to each other for the rest of the time we were in there. Why do the army uniforms always look like garbage? The Marines had the greens and we had the deserts. Yeah, you had deserts and woodland. And they look great. Yeah. They look great. They work good. The one thing I will say about the Marines is their uniforms always look amazing. Damn straight. They have the best looking uniforms out of any branch of the military. Indisputable. Even their dress uniforms. I, I think dress uniforms are freaking stupid. Because I, it's not the 1600s and nobody cares about dress uniforms anymore. I never even had the dress blues. I don't know if you know this, but... You never had the dress uniform? I never had the dress blues. 
They used to issue them when you got out of boot camp. Yeah. And then there was a brief window in 2007 where they didn't do that. Why? Uh, I guess they expected you to buy it yourself. They were low on funds. Any number of reasons. Who knows? Historically, the Marines are pretty much always out of money, so that would make (laughs) sense. Getting back on topic here, I think that some general in the army saw a bunch of these Marines walking around the Pentagon, and they were wearing these cool digital patterns, and they went... I just watched the movie The Matrix. I like digital things. I want digital uniform for all army. Army smart. Army get digital. Be future. (laughs) Like how for that very short period of time, the army's motto was an army of one, which is not really conducive when you're trying to have an organization (laughs) that's built around everyone working together. You're all each individually armies of one. Yeah, it didn't make a whole lot of sense. That got changed real quickly to Army Strong. <laughs> Army Strong! Army <laughs> Smack! <laughs> Army no like terrorist! <laughs> so, the Army got these digital uniforms, and they were such shit. <laughs> oh, are you talking about the, the teal-colored digital camo? Yes, the teal-colored digital camo that blends in with, with that famous picture of a couch <laughs> and nothing else. It blends in with nothing. UCP is the camo pattern, which is, stands for Universal Camo Pattern, because it universally doesn't blend in with <laughs> jack fucking shit. <laughs> the camo pattern that Doc Friday has on is a better camo pattern than UCP. You seem to be a big fan of Flectarn in general. Because it's a good camo pattern and it works. There's a reason the German military has used Flectarn since 1980 until 2017. Oh, did they change it recently? Uh, uh, most militaries are just going to uh, multicam now. Because multicam just seems to work with pretty much everything. Unlike UCP, which the three colors on UCP are freshly poured concrete, sand. A color that doesn't exist in nature. That's it. It it might actually work if you're in some kind of urban desert environment. Here's a fun experiment. Put a UCP jacket on one of your friends. Have them stand three blocks away from you in a city. And then have a bunch of people walk around. You'll still be able to pick them out. You'll be like, oh, look at that dipshit wearing UCP down there. Well, of course you will. If you're trying to spot somebody in a crowd that stands out, the only person wearing camo is going to stand out. The, the way camo is supposed to work is it disrupts the shape of a person. It's supposed to break up the silhouette. The problem with UCP is the squares are all too damn small. So at a distance, you just look like a big teal blob. <laughs> And they're not the same color as the background anywhere. There was one other time that I did see it work, and that was when infantry in Iraq would wear the exact same pair of ACUs for two months so that they would become crusted with dirt and brown. Ah, yes. And then they would just become khakis. (laughs) The khakis were better camouflaged than the Khaki is a better camouflage. Just straight khaki uniforms or straight coyote brown uniform is a better camouflage pattern than UCP. Mm, That's unfortunate. I suppose it would blend in with other people that were wearing the same pattern. That's not the point of camouflage, though. No, it's not. The army spent five billion dollars researching this camo pattern, and it didn't blend in with anything. It's absolutely terrible. It is, in my opinion, the worst military uniform ever designed, and I am putting that over the British military uniform that was just a bright red jacket. That's, that's quite a stance to take. There is statistical, numerical proof that UCPs got soldiers killed. Did you need to get that off your chest, how much you hated the Army's uniforms? Big news! They recently changed the pattern. Yes, they're all wearing multicam now. Is it four colors? They have concrete, dirt, a color that doesn't exist, and red? No, multicam is mud, dirt, tree, and green. Unless the tree part is a maple leaf in autumn, I, <laughs> I don't think... It's just got bright red. It's just got the Canadian flag in just spots on it. Actually, they do have that in the Canadian uniforms. They have little There's Canadian little flags. Canadian flags. I know. I love it. I love... Oh, man. Cad Pat's a great uniform. Why don't we have anything like that in the American uniform? Marines have that. We have the Eagle Globe and Anchor everywhere. Yeah, but, you have the Eagle Globe and Anchor. But that doesn't celebrate America in general. We need cheeseburgers on our patterns. <laughs> Just little pieces of bacon and bowls of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Why is that the stereotypical American thing for you? Oh, no, it's just bologna and mac and cheese. That's, oh, like, God. all it is. I said stereotypically American, not stereotypically gross. Fine, bologna and government cheese. Ah. <laughs>